Hi, I'm Heather McWilliams. I work at the Smithfield Library and I'm going to show you how to make a dragon egg today. And this is part of our summer virtual series. Um, so to start with, uh, I've got our supplies. We have aluminum foil, we have air dry clay, and we also have some acrylic beads. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our foil and wrap it up. So you can go ahead and crumble it up just like this. And I'm going to form it into kind of an egg shape. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just something that kind of looks like an egg. So I'm going to leave it just like this. So I'm going to set this down. Next, we're going to take our air dry clay. I'm going to get it out of the bag right here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is flatten it out. So put it right in between your palms and flatten it out. And, and again, this does not have to be perfect. So once it's flattened about like this, I'm going to put our little aluminum foil egg inside of it and wrap it around. And just make sure that the foil is completely covered up. And if you need to smooth it out a little bit, you can run it right in between your hands, just like this. Let's see, and just keep working on it. Um, and one other thing is that our Grab and Go crafts, they will be available at the Five Points West Library, they'll be available at Avondale, Springville Road, and the North Birmingham Library. Um, so that will be where these items will be available. Okay. So once everything is all smoothed out, I'm going to set it to the side and then get some beads to decorate it. Let's see. And you can decorate it however you like. You can also use a Sharpie or a pen to decorate with it. Um, be as creative as you like. I'm going to get just a few more beads over here to decorate. And once you're finished decorating, um, what you'll do is just let it sit out for about a day to dry. And once it's dry, it's ready to go. And here is your egg. Uh, thank you for joining me. And I hope you'll check out uh, the rest of our programs this summer.